Hello everyone! Today I'm back to react to voice of Bacheprat. I want to watch the music video of School Revolution and the music video of Not Public Property. Okay, School Revolution. This is from six years ago. I I don't have lyrics, so I'm not sure in which language they're going to sing. Okay, we start with high energy. <laughs> Oh, I like that. <laughs> they are so cool. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> She's good. She's like rapping. I didn't know, but this. I really like the contrast between the singing part that is sang with such a low tone and this part is really this higher. I wish I could understand the words that are written on the... I don't know how to call those. But... I really like this because it's kind of enchanting. I like this. <coughs> this part is a little different. The way she says, oh, that's so satisfying. <laughs>
Kicking plate. <laughs> predict that most of their songs, if not all their songs, are going to be a fight. Sometimes we have a dream or we simply are in a certain way and society asks us to be in a different way and when this happens we start to feel pain, we start to slowly die because that's actually what happens. If you try to suffocate the dream of someone, you are killing that person because you are taking away what makes that person want to be alive. You're taking away what makes that person feel happy. Now we have Not Public Property. It to me that this song was released on International Women's Day. He also wrote that Voice of Bacheprot became the global digital residence artist of Women Bodily Autonomy campaign. So with this information and also just from the title, I can say that this is important. Okay, let's go. So this is the first time that I hear her sing in this way. <laughs> like they said just this was just the beginning, yet they said really important things. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. This should be known. I would have so much fun with a song that talks about something so important. Being dressed in a certain way, looking in a certain way, does not mean that you have the right to hurt me, to touch me. I thought a lot about how the media talks about it and how and why most of the people continue to blame the victim. And I think I found an answer. The answer is fear. <laughs> the thing is that you want to believe that that cannot happen to you. You want to think that if you dress mm, how the society says it's appropriate, 
that is not going to happen to you. You want to think that if you don't talk to stranger, that will not happen to you. If they can do it to anyone, how can I protect myself? The solution to this, it's not on educating the victims, it's on educating the perpetrators. It's on educating people in understanding what consent is, in understanding the respect for other people. Someone could walk around naked and you don't have the right to touch that person. It's so difficult to make people understand why the others are not an object. It should be so easy. I'm sorry, I started to talk a lot, but like, I'm always scared. This devastates me a lot because I know that there are still so many good people. Yet because of bad people and because of a society that blame the victim, still live in fear. And not just me, a lot of people did such a good job in creating a song that is fun yet talks about something that is really important. And also they did it knowing that they were going to experience backlash because of this, I'm sure. While talking, I'm scared that publishing this video is going to enrage someone. But still, if we want to help each other, if we want a safer place, to leave, we need to talk about this because we need to educate people. Actual criminals are really a few if you think about the majority of people, but the problem is that the majority of people still has a lot of prejudices and a lot of fear. And this fear is helping the perpetrators, so we need to educate ourselves. Okay, that's it for today. I'm sorry if I talked a lot, but I thought that was necessary. I'm going to see each other soon. Bye bye.